Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with today's headlines. Thirteen months after Maggie and Paul Murdaugh were shot and killed on the family hunting estate in Colleton County, husband and father Alex faces an arraignment next Wednesday in Walterboro charged with murdering his wife and son. Now, unlike the indictments for his financial crimes, there were very few details revealed in the murder charges from the grand jury investigating the shooting. CNN is reporting that the jury did see evidence from Alex's clothes of blood splattering consistent with the firing of a rifle or shotgun at close range, and that Paul's cell phone contains a recording of his parents talking just before the shootings. A statement from Alex Murdaugh's attorneys denies any involvement in the killings, saying he loved his wife and his son more than anything, and also said that from day one, law enforcement and the attorney general prematurely concluded that Alex was responsible. Now, it could take a year to bring the case to trial. Hilton Head Island brags about being the number one island in the country in the eyes of many of its visitors, but travel and leisure magazine readers aren't quite as glowing, ranking Hilton Head ninth best in the country and only second best in its own state. Travel and Leisure's Best Islands list ranks Mackinac Island in Michigan number one, with Kiowa Island second, and Charleston was ranked the number one city in the entire United States for the tenth time by travel and leisure readers. Governor McMaster is now promising that South Carolina will do whatever it takes to keep Pritchard's Island in Beaufort County from being taken away from USC, who, don't, who it was donated to in the 1980s, and give it to the University of Georgia. The late Philip Rhodes donated the island to USC for scientific research and education, but the family says the school is not honoring its commitments and is threatening to transfer ownership to UGA. Now, research funding for projects on Pritchard's Island has dried up in the last decade, but after the threats from the family, it appears the island will be saved for USC and USCB. Well, if you've noticed more people in your circle testing positive for the new COVID-19 strain, well, you're right on target. New cases jumped almost 25% last week alone statewide, with nearly 14,000 cases reported. The 13th highest person uh, per person spread in the country. Now, Beaufort County's case count jumped over 50% with nearly 600 cases. Now, the good news is there was no death. There were no deaths reported last week. And finally, the long-awaited Publix grocery store officially opened Wednesday morning in Beaufort Plaza. The 48,000 square foot store is located at 33 Robert Smalls Parkway, the intersection of the Parkway and Boundary Street. And based on the number of social media posts, it seems local shoppers were excited about the opening too. The major renovations of the shopping plaza were announced and Buford's only indoor theater were torn down in August of 18. And then plans for Publix to build there were made official two years later in August of 2020. For more information on these stories and many more, please check out the media sources listed on the screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at whhitv.com. And if you have a news tip or a story idea or a cool weather photo, you can just email it to us at news at whhitv.com. And now let's check in with Maria for an update on the weather. Maria. Thanks, Robin. All right, it's so taking a look ahead. On Saturday, we are going to have a storm roll through, and then it's going to be clear the rest of the day. Hilton Head's going to have a high of 83, a low of 75. Bluffton's going to have a high of 85 and a low of 72. And Buford's going to have a high of 85 and a low of 73. Taking a look at Sunday, partly cloudy in the morning, and then we are going to have a storm roll through in the afternoon. Hilton Head's going to have a high of 84, a low of 76. Bluffton's going to have a high of 86 and a low of 73. And Buford's going to have a high of 88 and a low of 73. The sunrise for this weekend is going to be at 628 and sunset is going to be at 829. Taking a look at the beach tides, Saturday high tide is going to be at 1209 p.m. and low tide is going to be at 717 p.m. And then on Sunday high tide is going to be at 102 p.m. and low tide is going to be at 812 p.m. Taking a look into next week, Monday we are going to see a little bit of rain in the morning and then we're going to have a possible thunder shower roll through in the afternoon. Highs are going to be in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s. Tuesday is going to be sunny in the morning with a possible thunder shower in the afternoon. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. And then come Wednesday, it's going to be cloudy with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's set it back to the desk. Coming up after the break, former mayor of Buford, Billy Kaiserling, will be with us. 
He'll talk about his CPR campaign after his tragic accident. Don't go away.